Good morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody was standing outside my car and they heard me yell. I don't know why this nigga looking at me tough, but he do not want to get beat up by a nigga with bees in his head. And that's on God. I'm here for it all. Good morning! <laughs> Hi, Grits. Oh, I didn't put my oil in my bag this morning. Cavanese, what up, Chris? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Ah, uh, good morning! It's six people on here, and until I see six good mornings, I ain't talking. I got something crazy to tell y'all. <laughs> I got something crazy to tell y'all. Good morning, Lori. Uh, y'all want to see my hair, though? I'll show y'all my hair since I did get it done yesterday. I love, love, love wearing my hair. Ha <laughs> ha Hey, drape on them. Dra <laughs> drape on them. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> hey. Hey, my my bees going all down my back now. I got to get them on my Hey, good morning. It is a great, wonderful morning. I had sent you a message. You are a positive influence. Thank you, sir. Listen, if you really want to get in contact with me, because I'm going to tell you, people send me a lot of messages during the day. Um, I mean, period, in Messenger. But if you really want to message me, text my phone. It's 2 one Wait, whoa, wait, hold on. I'm gonna post the number that you that you uh can text to get in contact with me because I have three of them. Um, that's how you gonna get in contact with me as soon as possible. If you need something, if you need prayer, if you need consultation, if you need, I I offer a free version of everything. All my prayer in this free. If you just want to call and 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 we pray together, then that's that's free. But I do have a free consultation that I offer. Um, and it's real simple. And if whoever doesn't follow it, I simply just um, discard you. Because if I give you my free information, well, how, what you going to do with the paid information? <laughs> Nothing. So, good morning, Queen La Lea Lanice. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's such a wonderful, beautiful day. Good morning, Tamika. So uh, yesterday was a Q and A, and I did a Q and A, and we didn't get no questions. But <laughs> in my inbox, I got a hundred of them. So I don't know how that works, y'all. Like I give a live Q and A, and nobody asks a question. But then y'all got private questions. Don't private question me to death. I'm public for a reason. I make myself public. All of my posts public. All of my pages public. My phone number's public. Everything is public for a reason. Don't private me. Because I ain't no private person. Don't private me. Anything that's done in private, I don't like it. I don't like sneaking. I ain't no sneak. I ain't no snuck. I don't sneak around. I ain't no... I'm, I'm, not, no, I'm not no behind the scenes, uh, under the cover, behind the door type of person. That's not me. If you got something to say to me, say that shit on my live. Say it on my page. Don't say it. Don't don't come in my inbox asking me nothing. And now if it's your personal business, then use the channels that I've given you to reach out to me privately. That you do. But don't ask me no general questions in private. I'm not I'm not I won't I won't entertain them. Great morning, queen. How are you, Angela? Good morning, Queen Leah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to share with y'all how important it is for you to do things that make you happy. Johnny, why you wear beads in your hair? Because they make me happy, bitch. 
That's why. I'm wearing beads because I like I like how it make me feel. I used to have this uh this SpongeBob shirt. <laughs> <laughs> And the SpongeBob shirt was so happy. This nigga was on the front smiling like. And I would wear it just because it made me, when I look at it, feel happy. I don't care what it is. Do what makes you happy. It don't matter what people say about you. It don't matter what people think about you. The only thing that matter is how you think about yourself. That's why I'm wearing yellow beads, bitch. Because I'm Rick James. I can do what I want to do. That's what life is about. Live it. Fuck everybody. To a certain extent. <laughs> Listen, I don't care if driving a... Uh, riding a bike make you happy. Ride a bike. You don't gotta have a car to fit to look and feel happy like everybody else. That's what make them happy. Let that make them happy. Walk and make me happy. People be like, "Oh, Johnny, I seen you walking. You ain't got no car, yeah, bitch. I got a car. I got two of them. But guess what? I walk because I like to walk." Y'all, we gotta do what makes us happy. It don't matter what other people think about you. They're going to continue to think about you and send energy and power to you with their thoughts. Do that. Make people give you their energy by making them think about you. That's what I do. Hi, Betty. Yes, F their opinion. Man, F their opinion. Period, Kiana. Kiana Austin, you are, I just, I can't wait to meet you. You better be as fine as you are in, in person as you is on your Facebook. Because you're just a pretty girl. Shout out to Kiana Austin. Wilhelmina. Good morning. <laughs> Blessed and waiting on my order. It, listen. Let me tell you something. They definitely know how to keep a small business down. I'm just going to say that. I have my distributors, my wholesalers. I have a, a substantial amount of people that I work with. And it's like... When something happens, to, it happened across the whole board. It's not just me that's being affected. Like when Trump started raising tariffs and start raising prices and started limiting the, the, the supplies that come into America, it's not just me that's affected. The people that's over me affected, the people that's next to me affected, so I got to wait on them and y'all got to wait on me. But this is the thing. They just be me alone. I be trying to keep it 1000 with y'all and let y'all know exactly where I'm at. Listen, everything that's still being waited on is on back order for me. That means I don't even have it. So it take time for them to mix my formulations and then send them to me. And if I told y'all where they was coming from, first of all, first of all, uh, most of my supplies come from England. I like my my olive oil. I order my olive oil straight from Greece. That's Italy. I order. Wait, wait, wait. I don't just order stuff from like save a lot, y'all. My stuff come from overseas. Exactly the 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 place of origin that it that 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 it grew from. That's where I get it from. That's how you get the best quality. So when you dealing like that, yeah, I'm not Rolls Royce yet. Rolls Royce make their own metal. Rolls Royce, wait, well, not Rolls Royce, Rolex. Rolex watches is made out of their own metal. Like, ain't nothing else in the world made out of this metal but Rolex watches. It's more this, it's more this, it's more that, blah, 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 blah. And just doing the research on Rolex, I'm like, why is Rolex so expensive? So expensive because I need two of them, and he told me two hundred thousand. And why do I got to pay two hundred thousand for two Rolexes? This is why, because the quality, the hair quality that goes into it, the 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 materials that's used is one on one, and so that's why Holy Growth I order plenty every month. So I'm going. So I'm good until my other order comes. I'm glad, Queen. 
But yeah, like it was a real big hit coming into 2020. Uh, Donald Trump did not spare no expense on taxing the little people and pushing us out. I'm not being pushed out, though. That's the thing. Hey, man, I really love my hair. <laughs> I love my hair, man. Dang. I cannot. Uh, Y'all cannot imagine how much I love my hair. This is the best. Oh, my God. <laughs> What up, Stanley Lee? Hi, Net Net. What's going on, baby? Oh, thank you, Mike. What up, Carlton? Ah, oh, bless you, Betty. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on and tell you, I don't care what it is. Do stuff that make you happy. I don't care what it is. Do stuff that make you happy. Not your kids. Not that dusty ass nigga that you been entertaining and ain't even giving you what you need. Not that dusty ass female that's entertaining other niggas and everybody else and not making sure her home is good. Not your boss that give everybody else a promotion and overlook you and you doing all the work. Do what make you happy. That's why they using you. Because they see that you willing to make them happy before yourself. Did y'all catch that? Y'all didn't catch that. Y'all didn't catch that. A lot of y'all black women put everything and everybody else above y'all and then wonder why everything and everything else is above y'all. Put yourself first. That's what I teach my clients. You are what's most important. You giving your power away is because, I mean, is the reason you don't have no power. <laughs> How simple is that? Love yourself first. Hi, Keela. Love yourself first. What's up, Brittany and Nicole Jackson? Lee, what's up, Stanley Lee? What up, homie? Thank you, Wilhelmina. I'm thank you. I I I love I love my hair. I go to the gym and literally people be like <laughs> I'm so unbothered. And I be putting it in. I yeah, ah, ah, ah. I get up, walk, oof, 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 oof. and they be like, "What the hell going on with this dude?" <laughs> Vote is. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, Angela, I totally agree. But it don't matter if we vote the president in or out. It's the legislation next to the president that make all of the rules that's tearing us up. He just signing off on them. We got to understand who we need to vote for and why. See, the people who run in the legislature, legislature, legislative office that make the bills, they be in them seats for 10 years and we'll never vote them out. That's who we need to vote out, y'all. <coughs> I'm just getting the last of this cold up out of me. And I'm telling you, mucus is not cold. It's mucus. Let's call it what it is. Mucus is the number one. Damn, you want to slow down coming into the parking lot? People are just so ghetto. Good morning, Aaron. Lori. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, she late. Well, listen, you being late don't justify crashing into other people. Slow down. Polish up. Get up a little bit earlier. I woke up at four this morning and I was meditating so hard I fell back asleep. <laughs> I woke back up at like six something. I had to pop up, man, and get stuff done. But um, yeah, I just wanted to go live and tell you to love yourself. Love yourself more than anything. More than anything. Do what makes you happy. If you if you want to wear a dragon suit, wear a dragon suit. Do what make you happy. But if you getting up, going to your job, and you can't wear your natural hair to your job because your job gonna say something, and your and your and your punk ass allow that, that's your loss. They not they they control you and they own you and and and, and, and that's your problem. It's your responsibility to stand up for your own curly hair. If you talking about, oh, I can't go to my job, I got to look presentable. 
what's presentable? How they want you to look? You a sucker. Mm-hmm. I wear beads in my hair because I'm a pimp. Guess what I pimp? Society. Society don't control me and what I do. I'm wearing these beads in my hair because I'm a pimp. I'm Rick James. I'm whoever I want to be. As long as it makes me happy. That's the whole purpose and point, y'all. Do what makes you happy. If wearing beads make you happy, I don't care if you're a 40-year-old grown man. People be like, oh, you you 40? Like, uh, yeah, I'm 40 years old. No, I'm not 40. I'm 39. I'm 39. But people be like, oh, man, I thought you was like maybe 28, 29, 30, 31. Well, that's good. Not 10 years off on me, baby. Not 10 years off of me. And I can run four, mi four miles straight. And I can bitch pace my body weight. And I can I can run with the best of them, baby. You got to do what makes you happy. My body, I'm getting my body together so because it makes me happy. And see, and so this is another thing. Let me talk to you all about this. Thank you for them hearts. Thank you. Hi, Marlene. Advocate for your damn self. Keila, if you don't tell them. I'm advocating for me and everybody else that want to wear natural natural hairstyles. This is a natural hairstyle. <coughs> Listen, I did a little girl's hair the other day and she was eight years old. And I said, we not about to straighten your hair. We going to braid your hair up into a ponytail. We going to put some beads on it. You going to look cute. She's like, oh, I don't want no beads. So why you don't want no beads? I ain't no baby. You a baby in every form. I'm talking about mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. You a baby. Why the kids think that they don't even have to wear wear beads? They they want to look how y'all look, which is weak. Because straight hair not life. I straighten hair for the sake of maintenance and managing. The ends. That's all. We don't. I don't. I don't recommend my clients straighten their hair and wear it straight because then that means it's dry, and dry produces brittleness, produces breakage, produces damage. When I straighten my hair, my, my clients' hair, I tell them you can keep it straight for as long as possible by clean comb, clean hands, clean scarf wrapping, and keep it wrapped anytime you're in leisure. Once it shows any type of resistance towards wrapping. You moisturize it, you seal it, and you protect it in a natural braided style, and you keep it wrapped anytime you're in leisure. That's the simple way to maintenance your hair. Don't tell me, don't I didn't help y'all. Because I'm telling y'all exactly what I tell my clients. You have to wear your hair in a way that it's protected. You have to advocate for yourself and, 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 and protect your own hair. Ja Aaron said, Johnny, we were you about to say about mucus? Oh, I don't know. But I don't know. What was I about to say about mucus? Oh, it's the number one cause of illness. Mucus. Mucus in the body. I don't care what disease you're talking about. From AIDS to a cough to a cold. Every, every, every disease is a disease because it adds mucus to the human body. That's the one thing that the human body cannot overcome. Mucus. You want to reduce mucus. You want to get some nat eat natural foods that's low in whatever causes mucus in your body. One of them uh, foods is mushrooms. I stopped eating mushrooms because I read that mushrooms put mucus in your body. You do not want mucus in your body. Anything that put mucus in your body. So one of the number one things that puts mucus in your body is animal products. Milk, dairy, cheese, chicken, turkey, hog marks, chicken balls, frog feet. <laughs> It puts mucus in your body because your body is not supposed to be trying to break down animal proteins. Okay? So, your, 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 what? Mushrooms? I know, and I love mushrooms. <laughs> I love them. But when I stopped eating them, I realized how so much mucus. I don't have mucus in my body regularly. Like, I literally be gone. I run my five miles. 
And I'm talking about my chest be cleared and clear. Oh, let me tell y'all something else. Get some organic peppermint leaf. You're going to be able to buy it on holygrowproducts.com by the ounce. Organic peppermint leaf. Roll it and smoke the peppermint leaf. I'm just being honest. Look up the effects of smoking peppermint. Peppermint smoke actually increases lung functionality. Wait, what, Johnny? I thought smoke was bad for you. Do your own research. All smoke ain't bad. Okay, so listen to this. If all smoke bad, why is you burning sage and smoking out your house and then inhaling and allowing your kids to? It's quiet. If all smoke is bad, why are you burning sage? Because they told you it was okay, right? Don't be no follower. Do your own research. If you, they told you, if, wait, hold on. If sage smoke is killing 99% of air, air bacteria, how is, how is weed smoke bad for you? Mmm. It's all for a different reason. Okay? Everything is meant for its purpose. And so when you use it for its purpose, it's not bad at all. Great point. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Yo, good morning, John, and everyone in this live. Salute. 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 What's up, brother? Meat causes mucus. It absolutely does. <laughs> I heard crickets too. Yeah, y'all. Y'all got to do your own research. So um, what I do is I put my sage in my burner. I put my peppermint in there. I put some lavender in there. I put some blessed thistle in there. I put some. It just depends on what I'm what 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 uh energy that I'm using to smoke for. And then I like that, and I let it smoke out the house, and we inhale it. Yeah. So, y'all got to do some research. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I just said yesterday, I'm about to go to college and get my doctorate degree in something. She called me Dr. God. I like that. Dr. God. I like that. <laughs> I really like that. Thank you. Good morning, Sky. Good morning, Tamika. So, I just wanted to jump on here and tell y'all, listen, do stuff that make you happy. People ask me why I wear bees in my head. Because they make me happy. I feel happy. I don't want to be walking around tough, acting tough. Y'all look like some weird creeps. You walking down the street, mean mugging people, looking tough. You a whole bitch. Because for real, for real, anybody that's walking around giving negative energy to other people have the, the real problem. And you, it's we, you have nothing to prove over here. Like, so look at yourself. Me mug yourself. Because that's where the problem is. That's where the conflict is. That's the person you need to be fighting. You need to be fighting yourself so that you don't look stupid out here causing people problems and bringing negative to people who don't even know you or got nothing to do with you or your fucked up life. Take accountability for yourself and go look in the mirror and mean mug that ugly person. Because that's the person that need their ass kicked. <laughs> you welcome, Aaron. I love you. Oh, my God. I don't have asthma. I was born with asthma. And when I tell you, I poured my medicine out when I was... And my mom could vouch for me, but she don't vouch for shit that I do. So, anyway, I vouch for myself. When I was a kid, I poured my medicine out when I was six years old in the sink and said I I was healed from I was healed from it. And uh, I never had it since. But peppermint smoke, man, peppermint smoke made me feel like I ain't never I ain't know what the word asthma meant. <laughs> peppermint smoke is the truth. I ain't even gonna cap to you. Alright, let me pull this down. I like this. Oh, I forgot to put my thing in. Y'all like my big holes in my ears? Who could do this? <laughs> <laughs>
Go in the gym and tell them folks, I don't want to be picking out my hair and beads because y'all just <laughs> stared it off my head. Listen, they be, they look, they be watching, they be looking because I'm so intriguing. They're like, man, who is this guy? He's just so cool or weird or whatever it is. Let me tell y'all about this the other day, though. I almost had to, uh, I ain't even going to tell y'all that. I'm just going to tell y'all the outcome. This this person took my stuff at the gym. And they threw it on the floor out the door. And like it was a blatant it was a blatant attack on me. And I know that that's coming because that's what happened when you when you line yourself up. And so I I, I approached the the dude and I said, "You threw my stuff out?" And he lied and said, I, don't know. I just walked in here. And I said, I know, because I just walked out of here and wasn't nobody in here. And now my stuff out there, and now you right here. And did you throw my stuff out? He just, what? They're not supposed to be in here anyway. I said, mm. <clears throat> So I politely told him, you touched the wrong person's stuff. You may think you tough. But you don't own nothing around here. You got the right one today. Touch my stuff again. He went and told on me. He said, and I heard him telling. He was like, man, this guy, he had his stuff in there. And he threatening me. And he's just threatening me. He's threatening me. And I said, you a snitch bitch. Come back in here. We can shoot the fair one. And anybody before I turn 40... Any of you niggas that want to shoot the fair one and catch a fade, I'm not cutting hair. You do not want to get beat up by a nigga with bees with bees in his head, cause I'm going in for mine. We not playing out here. You have to live in beast mode. You can't let people walk over you. You can't let people treat you crazy. They can say what they want to say. But when people push up on you, let them know where you stand. Work out every day so that when you put them paws on them, they regret summoning them paws. <laughs> you got to get your paws right. Because it's a fight out here, y'all. Everything ain't peachy key and peaches and keen. We have to fight for what's ours. You can't even wear your natural hair to work because they're going to tell you that you inappropriate. You telling me that ain't worth the fight? No, it ain't a physical fight. That's not a, that's different. That's not a physical fight. You don't have to defend yourself physically there. You have to fend yourself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, though. And so you need strength for that. You need strength. And so that strength comes from reading, writing, and meditating. Okay? So we want to exercise our energy sources. And we want to, <laughs> good morning. And we want to um, get strong. Good morning, Marlo. Hi, Sky. What do you wrap it in? Or do you just smoke it as is? Oh, the peppermint? Organic hemp. We use organic hemp. No chemicals. We don't want no chemicals. Don't get beat up by a nigga with bees in his hair. Listen. I'm listen. I'm gonna be here to pick my baby up. I right? I'm about to go home. I'm about to greet my clients. If you want to try to stop me, man, I'll pray for you. Cause yeah, I'm preparing. Like you gotta prepare. People, people is ready to take y'all out. Especially when you're doing good and trying to do good and add value to the world. Yeah, the powers that be don't want to see that. So you have to fight for yourself. You have to be willing and ready to fight for yourself or people going to take you out and take you down, talk about you, make you feel like you ain't crap. It's your job to make yourself happy. Stay happy. Be happy. Okay? I got to go. My time has come. I love you. <clears throat> God loves you. But the most important thing is you loving yourself. It's Johnny Hair God.
peace, love, and growth. Until the next time, get to it, y'all.